Here's some more news about Mars, and uh, this one, uh, the probe, the Opportunity probe, is I mean, over with its useful lifespan with us. It lasted longer than than most. Again, the technology was so good, it lasted longer than they thought it would. But uh, the rover found an abundance of evidence that water once flowed on Mars. And, of course, we believe that Mars had a giant global flood, and so do the secular scientists. Uh, they don't believe our planet could have had a global flood because, well, that would go too much with the Bible, even though our planet is now covered three-fourths, two miles deep in water, and Mars water is, well, we're just excited whenever we find a couple of drops, like a spring springing up. But now they've got this, uh, one of the probes found by x-rays, a possible lake under the South Pole of uh, dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide, um, on Mars, and uh, the only way to keep it liquid, and the radar seems to indicate it's liquid, is if there's a pool of magma directly under it. So that's exciting, of course, that there's, an, a, there's some large body of water, at least hidden from the atmosphere, because the low gravity and the dry atmosphere would dry it up and send it off out gassing into space. Uh, and, and this is interesting, you know, the geologically active. Now, that in order to believe this, they're going to have to uh, suggest now that Mars was much more recently than 3.8 billion years ago, much more recently geologically active for a small planet that should have cooled down to its core a long time ago in their time spans. Uh, and so I think uh, Mars was geologically active uh, just uh, as long as short ago as 4,000 for 367 years, but uh, Noah's flood time. Uh, but then they're talking about, that, you know, the lake may only be a few hundred thousand years old. The magma pool under it is still active or the lake couldn't be, uh, couldn't actually be liquid. So uh, this is the whole story there. And look at what it says here. What I keep telling you, why are they looking for water on Mars? Because they're hoping it means there was life that got on Mars without God's help, that Earth isn't special, that we're not the apple of his eye, that there is no God, and that evolution makes all life. You see, they're poising themselves for that. That's uh, at least the devil's agenda behind SETI, even if it isn't Jill Tarter's or NASA's agenda. The devil is trying to deceive people. He's very good at it, so watch out for that and keep on thinking by the wisdom of God's spirit, because by your own wisdom, uh, you won't find it. Uh, and of course, I'm not saying that logic is ever bad. It is good. It's true. But it can easily be tricked. Keep your head clear in God, and you'll be clear on the truth, and that'll make you free. Keep thinking, uh, and God bless you in Jesus' name. Dr. J.